Okay, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to configure the controls on RetroArch. So, uh, sometimes you may get a controller that configures automatically, but at other times, you're going to have problems with uh, your controller not working when you start RetroArch. So, let's start. So first thing you do is you go to settings you could use the keyboard if you don't if your joystick or gamepad isn't working just go to settings go to input press enter you can set the maximum number of users or controllers to whatever you want two three four or five or whatever but i want to set it to one and Go to here, port one binds. Um, the type of control device, device type should be, you have something like a PlayStation 3 controller or something like that, or a uh, Logitech F310 controller. You would select retro pad with analog because those uh, type of controllers have analog and D-pad and everything, and side buttons. So select RetroPad with analog, and here you need to select right analog. And you could configure the controls here, just press. It shows you right uh, there where the button is for button B. In the, in the little diagram on the left. So I'm going to press enter and then press the B button and go down, press enter and press the Y button, enter and press the select button, enter and press the start button. This is D, this is D pad. So up, down, left, right, A, X, left shoulder, top, right shoulder, top. This is left shoulder, bottom, right shoulder, bottom. L3 is the analog stick button on the left. And this is the analog stick button on the right. I'm going to press that. And now we have to... Uh, configure the analog stick controls so this is your analog stick just press right left down I'm doing it again okay down up analog right stick left right and left down and up so I'm going to check that again so that's right left, down, up. So now the controller is configured. So I should be able to restart it and use the controller. So restart RetroArch. The, but, the action button is, I think, A, and B is to go back. Now the controller is set. I should be able to use this controller. Start button worked. A button works. The D-pad works. I'm going to go back, press F1, close content. This time I'm going to run a PlayStation emulator. See if all the controls work on this thing.
the analog stick works on the PlayStation 1, Sega Dreamcast, Sega Saturn, and emulators like that, basically. Emulators that have the same type of controller layout as a PlayStation 1, basically. This is Snake. Press F1, I screwed up here a little bit. Controls. Inputs. I'm going to put left analog. I think that's where I screwed up here. Go to F1, press F1 again. Now I could use the left analog. So both the analog uh, directional pads did work. I'll try out the shoulder, the trigger, the left trigger button that works. Trigger button works. Like button works. Snake, there's an element. All the buttons seem to work. So I'm gonna get out of here.